Hello and a very good evening to you from our Tampanese hub for football from match week one of the 2023 Singapore Premier League season. Well, Geelong International will welcome the challenge of the visiting Young Lions. Now, this game rounds off the action we've had in match week one so far, even though both sides involved tonight have already kicked off their respective league campaigns, with Geelong International picking up a point against their Eastern Derby rival Stampanese Rovers in a one all draw. Now, here's a look at the starting 11 for Geelong International. Noali has not made any changes to the side that went out and got that point against Tampanese Rovers. The Young Lions, meanwhile, have made four changes from their last game against Alvarex Nigata. Here's Harit Kanadi. Inside onto his right foot. Oh, that's a lovely finish from Harit Kanadi. The left footed Harit Kanadi showing that he can be a threat. On his right as well, Elijah Lim plays a lovely defence splitting pass. Just bends it around that Geelong defence. Good bit of skill from Harriet here, that step over. And he'll say he was trying to go for the top corner anyway. Iman's there. Just to flick the header on, Bezigo gets to the ball first. Couple of players taken down, a referee has pointed to the spot. But I think it was the second one that he actually decided to uh, award the penalty. There was certainly contact there, Gallagher, the offending party. Decision to award the penalty stands. Here's Yushia Maya. Up against Aizil Yazid, and he beats him comfortably. Yushia Maya with his first goal for Geelong International. His first goal in the Singapore Premier League. And his first goal in the professional game since the 13th of June. 2021. But here he is. That swung in. Has that crossed the line? It has. It's been given. If this is given, if this is confirmed by the VAR, there was a handball there anyway from Joshua Pereira. That looks to be a goal. The check is complete. The goal stands. The Young Lions. A 2-1 up at our Tampanese hub. Yamaya. Plays it into now foul. And that lead for the Young Lions was short-lived. It's a simple finish for now foul, but it's a goal he very much deserves for the work he's put in this evening. Gets himself into a good position. Stazuka with the delivery. But it's headed in. Rio Sakuma. It looks like meeting the delivery of Takahiro Tezuka. And Geelong have the lead. It'll be taken again by Tezuka. Another good delivery at the near post, and it's put away by Sakuma again. Amiro Ladley with the assist. Excellent quality on the deliveries this evening from Takahiro Tezuka. Rio Sakuma extending that lead. Completely unmarked. A free run to attack that at the back post. Coolly done. She lifted it into Huzaifa. It's a yellow card for Akmal. Well, there's a, a VAR check ongoing. The referee is being set for an on-field review. Potential serious foul play. That's what I'm being told. He's going to check for. Go over to the referee's review area. Looks like he's going to cancel the yellow card. Akmal could potentially be in trouble here. He's going to cancel the yellow card and produce a straight red. Well, he's cancelled the, the yellow. Instead, he sent him off. Akmal being sent off there. Oh, that is certainly going to be a talking point. He's saying to Joshua Pereira that there was an elbow. And uh, Akmal just has to live with that. And Geelang have to survive now. Oh, and that's it. The referee brings an end to proceedings here at our Tampanis Hub. Full time whistle has gone. And it's Geelang International who come away with all three points to go top of the SPL standings. Let's see Geelang International 4, Young Lions 2.